So within the last 24 hours or so, Herschel Walker's Senate campaign has essentially imploded. And it is really not looking good for him at this moment. His own son, Christian Walker, actually took to Twitter to call him out. So before I get to that, I want to give you a little bit of additional context as to what triggered Christian Walker's response here to condemn his own father's lies. So it all started with a story published by the Daily Beast, where Herschel Walker reportedly paid for an abortion in 2009 of his girlfriend at the time. And not only does she have the receipt to prove it, she has the $700 check with his name on it, along with a get well card that he gave her that included his signature. Now, the reason why this is so bad is because Herschel Walker is supposedly pro-life. And when I say he's pro-life, I mean he's a forced birther to the highest extent. Not only does he believe that there should be a total ban on abortions, he doesn't even support abortions in the cases of rape and incest. So he is as extreme as you could possibly be on this particular issue. So this story obviously demonstrates how hypocritical he is. But he denied these allegations, taking to Twitter to say it's a flat lie, a hatchet job, and he's also stating that he plans to sue the Daily Beast for defamation. Now, he later appeared on Fox News with Sean Hannity, and Hannity surprisingly asked him about this particular story, and as you're going to see, Walker again denied the reality of this story. You sent a $700 check, and that you sent it in a get well card. The get well card, it looks like it's included with your signature on in the article. Have you seen it, and is that your signature? Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, but you know, I can tell you, uh, I sent out so many get well, uh, send out so much of anything, but I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion, and it's a lie, and I'm going to continue to fight. You know, I tell you, that's what they want. They want this seat, but right now, they've energized me even more, and they're not going to take the seat, so they better work it even harder because they've jeopardized my kids. They've jeopardized my family. They think they can threaten me. They think they can scare me. Right now, all that done is it's energized me more. Yeah, so he's not going to fess up even if his ex-girlfriend has the receipts. This is very incriminating, so it's obvious that he's lying here. And it's also obvious to his son, Christian Walker, because that lie from Herschel Walker right there about the abortion story, that apparently was the straw that broke the camel's back because Christian Walker, his son, decided to expose the plethora of lies that Herschel Walker has told during the course of his campaign. Walker writes, every family member of Herschel Walker asked him not to run for office because we all knew some of his past, every single one. He decided to give us the middle finger and air out all of his dirty laundry in public while simultaneously lying about it. I'm done. Afterwards, he followed up by saying, I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months, running from your violence. I don't care about someone who has a bad past and takes accountability, but how dare you lie and act as though you're some moral Christian upright man. You've lived a life of destroying other people's lives. How dare you? Now, for those of you who don't know, Christian Walker's mother is Cindy Grossman, the woman who alleges that Herschel Walker threatened to kill her and also choked her. So he has a lot of reasons to be angry. So seeing his father parade around as some sort of a moral authority, that's a little bit too much for him. And he kept his mouth shut up until this point. Now, Herschel Walker responded on Twitter saying, I love my son no matter what. Now, before deleting this, Christian Walker replied saying, you have four kids that we know of and you weren't in the house raising one of them. You were out cheating and lying. If you loved your kids, you'd be raising them instead of running for a cent race to boost your ego. Ouch. So needless to say, this is bad for Herschel Walker. Now, this wasn't necessarily always the stance that Christian Walker wanted to take. He's going to explain why he decided to turn on his father and call him out publicly. But last year in December, actually, Christian Walker was tweeting out support for his father's campaign, saying that he got to hug a future senator and how it was an honor to introduce him at Mar-a-Lago. But in this video that he posted via Twitter, he's going to explain why this latest lie was just too far. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? 
I have a silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about father, I've, I've talked all these issues because they've been close to me, because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, but I am, I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my father. You don't have to like me. You don't have to, I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things. And that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do any of that. Everything's been a lie. Everything's been downplayed. Everything's been cutting corners. The whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, as we're chased down by the media, uh, we're, we're terrorized, all these different things. Uh, uh, people are questioning my authenticity. I'm done. Don't lie. Don't put this on me. You, this is a candidate issue, not a me issue. I wouldn't have spoken out if there weren't all these lies every day. So needless to say, this is really bad for Herschel Walker, and I'm assuming that his campaign is currently scrambling to try to find some way to get past this, right? But Christian Walker is the son of Herschel Walker. His mother was put through hell by Herschel Walker, so he knows Herschel better than anyone else. So he has no reason to lie about his father. So I absolutely believe Christian Walker over Herschel Walker here. I don't think he has a reason to lie about this. I think that it's true that he kind of has seen the lies and it's been building up and he's kept his mouth shut, but up until a point, the dam kind of just bursts open and you can't take it anymore and you've got to respond and rebut some of these lies, especially if his mother is being dragged through the mud as well. Now, you'll be shocked to learn that Republicans are actually defending Herschel Walker over Christian Walker. In fact, as the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports, one Republican official close to Walker was already shifting responsibility for the candidate's potential downfall, saying Christian Walker is solely to blame if Herschel loses the race. Now, in addition, Newsmax propagandist Greg Kelly slammed Christian Walker on Twitter, saying, never betray your family. Christian Walker has disgraced himself. You will find that this ugly smear in October, aka October surprise, will not work. Herschel Walker is is going to the U.S. Senate. Christian Walker responded saying he betrayed the family when he destroyed four children's lives, then lied about it all and lied again yesterday. How dare you? And I've just got to say, this is peak partisan hackery to have Republican propagandists not believe the son of a politician who has no reason to lie, nothing to gain from this and everything to lose from this. It goes to show you how rotten the brains of these Republican propagandists are. Now, Christian Walker released another video specifically responding to Republicans, and he kind of reiterates what he said again before, but nonetheless, let's listen to what he has to say. And just two more things I have to address, and then I'm done with this buffoonery nutjob land. This is atrocious. People on the right are pulling up that I did a campaign event with my dad last year. They're saying, well, you supported them all last year and all this year. You look suspicious. No, no, no. You all have been calling me saying, why aren't you on the campaign trail with your dad? Why aren't you helping him out? This looks weird. You should go help him. And I've said to you calmly, I'm not getting involved. You don't know my family life. I did one event last year when we were told he was going to get ahead of his past and hold himself accountable. None of that happened. Everything's been a lie. So... For me to tell you I'm not getting involved, and then you also be flooding my DMs and calling me saying, I didn't know all this about your dad. We're going to lose the Senate race. And then when I simply say, I'm done with the lies, you go, well, Christian looks suspicious. Excuse me? I haven't told one story about what I experienced with him. I'm just simply saying, don't lie. And then for, for certain political pundits to be pulling up old pictures I posted of my dad, thinking they can police and, and determine what my relationship with my dad was. If you want to pull stuff up, I'll pull stuff up. Don't try me. Don't test my authenticity. All of this has been a lie and you've known it. You've known.
So don't you dare. And then to the left, who says, well, he did all this to your mom and you were still with him. And you know, that's weird. You know nothing about my life. My parents went through a dirty divorce. I went through a lot as a child and, and you don't know anything. You don't know the ebbs and flows of our relationship. Nobody knows anything. So for everyone making these wild theories and whatever, that, that, that's crazy. This is about a bunch of lies. Again, I could, if I had an issue with whatever, I could have ended this table. That's not my intention. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy, talk normal, do not lie. Yeah. So I think that he's right to feel frustrated. And one thing that I'll point out that rubbed me the wrong way is how in both of these videos that we just watched, he tried to shoehorn in some sort of a critique of the left that they're supposedly lobbing at him. I haven't heard a single leftist critique Christian Walker in this instance. I don't know who is blaming you for still associating with your father, but you aren't guilty for what he did to your mother. Families are complicated. I get it. Your hands are clean in this particular instance. So I think that he's just trying to critique the left so it looks as if he's playing both sides because he really has made a name for himself in Republican circles. So perhaps he wants to keep that grift going. Either way, I've got to say, I do feel bad for Christian Walker in this instance. You can actually hear the pain in his voice. And this isn't an act. This is somebody who just can't take the lies that have affected his family, I'm assuming, in a really negative way. And I've got to say, this leads me to kind of believe that perhaps I misjudged Christian Walker because I always viewed him, largely due to his online persona, as this privileged, spoiled brat who thought he was better than everyone else. And, you know, this is kind of in part due to the way that I was raised, right? I had a pretty stable childhood with the exception of living in really bad poverty. Um, so that kind of colored my perspective of life to where if you're deprived of material well-being, you know, that's the worst. But even if you have, you know, wealth, even if you come from a family where you're taken care of, at least when it comes to money, you still can have a really bad life. And with Christian Walker, he just really didn't talk about all of this. So it lets it lets us get a glimpse into who Christian Walker really is. He's dropping the facade. He's leaving behind this persona to just be real and authentic. And it works for him. He should do this more often. He should be upfront with us more often because it really helps us to understand who he is. And as I said, I feel sympathy for him in this instance because you can tell he's actually hurting. Now, I'd be remiss to not point out a really poorly aged tweet by right-wing provocateur Glenn Greenwald shared by David Dole on Twitter where he wrote, Christian Walker is very smart and independent-minded and is going to be driving liberals absolutely crazy for a very long time to come. Oh, that tweet aged so poorly. And now Christian Walker is presumably driving Republicans Republicans nuts because love him or hate him, Christian Walker is attacking the GOP's one shot at taking back this seat in Georgia. And they don't care who it is. They don't care if it's a hypocrite who's a liar and a domestic abuser. They don't care. They just want a Republican in that seat who's going to vote with Republicans. So if they have to vote in the literal reincarnation of Satan, they don't care. All they care about is the politics of this situation. So they're not going to take into account what Christian Walker is saying. GOP operatives are going to do what they can to push Herschel Walker through. And what they're already trying to do is use the Trump playbook, where you kind of just muscle through all of these allegations, you ignore them, you brush them aside, and you keep on going. That's been successful for Trump. Will it be successful for Herschel Walker? I mean, we'll have to wait and find out. But just stop for a moment. We just heard a ton of bombshell allegations about Herschel Walker. And just consider this. He could still win. This man can still become a U.S. senator despite all of the things that we know about him, despite knowing about his past, despite knowing about his present and how he is unqualified to be a candidate because he very clearly mentally does not have the capacity to serve and have this much power. But yet here we are. He still could win. He's in a neck and neck race with Raphael Warnock. So either way, this is a bad look for his campaign. And whether or not this hurts him, obviously, I hope that it hurts his campaign. But I do feel a lot of sympathy for Herschel Walker's children and Christian Walker specifically, because he's giving us a side of him that we didn't see before. And, you know, to have a parent like this who's worshipped by everyone, but deep down, you know, his dark past and you've got to kind of fake it to make it publicly. I feel like that's really sad. And it tells us a lot about Christian Walker and why he's so 
angry all the time and why he condemns his own community. He's just lashing out at everyone. So, you know, you kind of see him in a different light because of this. But either way, I respect him for what he did. Speaking out publicly against a family member at a crucial time, that's no easy task. It takes a lot of courage that I don't think others would have. So love him or hate him. I have my feelings about Christian Walker, but in this instance, he absolutely, I think, deserves our respect for this move because there's no way what he did was easy and you know it's something that took a lot of guts to do so i respect him for it so yeah we'll leave that there i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i built a successful chicken business i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician.